Good morning to one and all present here. A hearty welcome to this eventful gathering. First of all, we record what the Lord has done for us. The countless blessings he has shared on us, chiefly during this Friends of Mary Ward Online May 2021, which is coming to our close. Let us praise and thank the Lord for his goodness towards us. Let's begin the session with a prayer. Lord God and Creator, thank you for this great universe. Create in me respect and love for all that you have made. Let the rhythm of this vast universe reverberate through my life, that I vibrate to the beat of justice, love, and peace. And let my being be one with the song of your creation. Grant that the earth be filled with the beauty of your presence. Endow me with the wisdom to produce and to share what each being needs to grow and flourish. Do not allow me to be captive to uncertainty nor cling to fruitless pursuits. Fill me with your creative power that I may bear fruit of your vision for me and for the world. Amen. Education is not about changing one's grade. It's about changing someone's life. In today's world, we are challenged to feel like Mary Ward and do better for humanity as we are all interconnected and each of us needs to comfort one another. Today, we are gathered here to witness the competitions held for grades 9, 10, 11, and 12. Our students are filled with zeal and enthusiasm to showcase their God-given talents. Therefore, Without much delay, let's begin the competition for grades 9 and 10. Composing a song on climate action and sing, they were given time to compose and submit the lyrics offline. And now they will be singing it online. Now, it's my pleasure to introduce the distinguished panel of judges for today. Sister Smita CJ, Mrs. Aditi Pandey, and Mrs. Sanchayata De. Sister Smita CJ is a member of the Nepal region. Sister is very sociable and has keen interest in social service. She has wide experience in working with the Indian and the Nepal governments. Sister believes in action rather than words. Her ministry has continuously given her the awareness of the importance of being than doing. Currently, she is an accountant in one of the schools and the treasurer of the region. Sister Smita has also fluency over several languages like Tamil, English, Hindi, and Nepali. Dear sister, we welcome you wholeheartedly to this event. Mr. Sanchaita De is associated with the Mary Ward family since her childhood. She has completed her graduation from Loreto College, Darjeeling. She did her master's in geography from Calcutta University and BA from Jadhupur University. She is serving as a teacher since 21 years. Presently, she is working in Loretta House, Kolkata 
as a senior school assistant teacher and also as a head of the department of geography during her tenure at loretta house she was an active gpic animator she is always eager to learn and do something good for the society she was also appointed as gpic central zonal coordinator this journey made her learn many things especially coordinating among seven schools under the central zone she has been appointed as gpic national coordinator since march 2021 under the leadership of sister nirmala and sister prabina they has jpsc india team are learning and cherishing this journey a warm welcome to you ma'am mrs aditi pande is currently working as a teacher at st mary's convent inter college lucknow she has been teaching for the past 13 years she has also worked as a personality development trainer and an ias guest lecturer she is a teacher by profession and has also been involved in counseling mrs aditi has always been in touch with the people of different ages classes and faith as she believes india to be country of all and for all mrs aditi has been friendly with the pen since long she has written articles and poems and has worked as a content writer she holds the recognized post of the editor in chief of the school magazine and has been contributing regularly she has also represented up the tata edge classroom championship program and competition held in mumbai conducted by pan india by tata group she won the fourth prize she is a dedicated teacher who believes that their skill in the student and the weakest of all needs love and patience hearty welcome to you ma'am climate change is a global issue with grave implications it represents one of the principal challenges facing humanity in our day here comes the students of classes 9 and 10 to enlighten us to be aware of the need for changes in lifestyle in order to combat global warming dear contestants please take your positions you will be judged on the following criteria voice modulation clarity audibility and accuracy theme appropriateness original score rhythm and overall impression on behalf of the organizing committee we wish you all the best now i call upon chess numbers 450 and 451 i repeat chess numbers 450 and 451 dear judges please note morning one and all we are chess numbers 450 and 451 1 2 3 Rethink, rebuild. That's what we need to do ooh, to make life magnificent for me and for you. Ooh. Rethink, rebuild. That's what we need to do ooh, to make life magnificent for me and for you. Ooh. Mother Earth gives birth to our fruits and trees and food. So please stop poisoning her with plastic that is very wet. We think we know that's what we need to do ooh, to make life magnificent for me and for you. Ooh. We think. Rebuild. That's what we need to do ooh, to make life magnificent for me and for you. Ooh. And A C in our room sure is cool and cozy, but let's think about its ill effects, which of course are not rosy. 
to prove to our mother earth that we can make a world. We think we build, that's what we need to do to make life magnificent for me and for you. We think we build, that's what we need to do to make life magnificent for me and for you. Now let's think about our travel by our cars to school and style. The horrifying burden of the environment. It is absolutely not worthwhile. So let's use our legs and cycle to many places. Help reduce our carbon footprint. The same in many ways. We think we build, that's what we need to do. To make life magnificent for me and for you. We think, we build, that's what we need to do. To make life magnificent for me and for you. This earth is our only home. We need to care for it or else it won't be here. That is crystal clear. So take a look at what you've done. Turn your steps back so it will be fine for everyone. We think, we build, that's what we need to do to make life magnificent for me and for you. We think, we build, that's what we need to do to make life magnificent for me and for you. Thank you. Thank you, dear contestants. Next, we have chest numbers 452 and 453. I repeat, chest numbers 452 and 453. Yes, ma'am. Good morning to one and all. Our earth is our common home. God has created it so beautifully and man has destroyed it due to his selfish action. Pope Francis, in his encyclical, Laura Tosi, invites us to take urgent action to protect our mother earth. Our world is so pretty, our world is so beautiful. She's the mother of all. See her love, don't walk in her pain, given to her by the people she loves. Do you remember, child, when you say, our world is so pretty, our world is so beautiful? Do you remember, child, when you say, our world is so pretty, our world is so beautiful? But look now, what do you see? The rising heat, dark small sky, singing hell. Do you still call it pretty and beautiful? Do you still call it pretty and beautiful? She's the mother of all. See her love. The rain pouring heavily, I wonder, is it pure? In the course of time, a lot more change. The way she was, pretty and beautiful. She's the mother of all. See her love. But trust me, child, till there is hope. We should know that we have the power, the power to change it, the power to make it awesome. If every single person joins hand, we can make this world a better place. She's the mother of all. Hello. So let's not wait. This is the time we can see together we change the world we live. Our world is so pretty, our world is so beautiful. She's the mother of all. See 
hala she is the mother of all the hala thank you dear contestants next we have chest numbers 454 and 455 i repeat chest numbers 454 and 455 start 1 2 3 left right climax action march on is time to rise up gather there is so much slope for me and we say no 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 and we say no 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 bunny tunes But I may is now go. But I may is now go. Protect the ecosystem. Some era we got to stop doing this planet harm. Too many years of human excess has put our planet under too much stress. The good news is not too late. But there is more time to be fantastic. The time is now for drastic action. If you want to stop all the change, reaction. Try green energy. So much bigger than you and I alone. If we all just make some changes, we could be the ones to turn it all around. It's time to rise up, gather us together. There is so much trouble warming in the earth, and we say no, no, no plastic, and we say no, no, no burning fuel. The time is now go. The time is now go. Forest going up in fire. Ice caps melting, seas going higher. Will you want to know how can this be? Will we two be just by chance, Eddie? You and me should be free. So we need to wake up. We need to rise up. We need to open our eyes and do it now. We need to plant so many trees. And we need to plant right now. Make it greener, make it greener. And we need to speak up right now. Make it greener, make it greener. And we need to speak up right now. We on a planet that has a problem. We go to solve it, get involved, and do it now. Ready? Ready. We need to bear on adaptation. And we need not just mitigation. We need to bear on adaptation. And we need not just mitigation, no point in waiting or just hurting. But we must get way to less pollution. Do it now. Greenhouse effect. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Valorize, valorize. It's time to rise up, gather us together. There is so much trouble warming in the weather, and we say no, no, no plastics, and we say no, no, no burning fuels. The time is now go. The time is now go. You and me, do it now. Do it now. Thank you, dear contestants. Next, I call upon just numbers. Four, five, six, and four, five, seven. I repeat: chest numbers four, five, six, and four, five, seven. Gift of God, be thankful for being part in this delightful world. Charming trees, chirping birds, buzzing flies, and ramming squirrels are breaking my heart. I God thank you for this. Delightful words, God thank you for this delightful words. Be gold in the green of the king, be bold in the king of the way. It's a long way for selfishness that has destroyed this pretty love. Be good in 
the hollow shades of dreams. Do good in midst of cruel people. God, thank you for this delightful food. Do good in midst of cruel people. God, thank you for this delightful food. Come and touch it. Need of the time. Climb a dungeon. Is the need of the town. World is full of pollution. Made by people's corruption. Humans cannot understand. It. Nature has begun to show. Humans cannot understand. It. Nature has begun to show. Climate is the need of the town. God, thank you for this delightful world. Uh, this is named Corona. This world planet stamina. World started fearing. All are broken up with love. Climate change is the need of the town. God, thank you for this delightful world. Climate change is the need of the job. God, thank you for this delightful world. Let's join our hands and be sorry for the wrongs. May God reason our shedding. And may he mop his heart. May he give another chance to create a stunning and beautiful world. May he give another chance to create a stunning and beautiful world. Climate attention is the need of the time. God, thank you for this beautiful world. Climate attention is the Need of the job, God, thank you for this beautiful world. God, thank you for this beautiful world. Thank you, dear students. Next, we have chess numbers four, five, eight and four, five, nine. I repeat, chess numbers, four, five, eight, and four, five, nine. Time has come for a new revolution, new revolution. Time has come for a mind revolution, mind revolution. Time is this to care our mother nature. Time has come to envelop the earth with a new blanket. Let us feel the laughter of running under the shades. Let us know how the feelings to feel the fresh and clean air. If you can't change the future, then why you change the nature? Why you wish to see your sons and daughters living in a world of sorrow? Why you hope to see a world which is completely disappearing? Why you let them breathe in poison? Why want you us to live in the flaming fire? Time has come for a new revolution, new revolution. Time has come for a my revolution, my revolution. Time is this to get our mother nature. Okay. Time has come to envelop the earth with the new <laughs> Let us feel the laughter of running under the shade. Let us 
know how it feels to feel the fresh and clean air. If you can't change the future, then why you change the nature? Cut pollution down, follow the chaos. Raise your voice about climate issues. Plant more trees, save our precious nature. Let's cover our earth in the green, green blanket. Time has come for a new revolution, new revolution. Time has come for a mind revolution, mind revolution. Time is this to care, our mother nature. Time has come to envelop the earth with a new land. Let us feel the laughter of running under the shade. Let us know how it feels to feel the fresh and clean air. If you can't change the future, then why you change the nature? Thank you, dear contestants. Next, I call upon the chess numbers 460 and 461. I repeat chess numbers 460 and 461. Earth be destroyed and by climate changes, greenhouse effects and sages. Earth is gasping due to fill the air, pollution spreads everywhere. Fury of cyclones follows the sea coast, last life and floods everywhere. Homeless and dolphins are crying for help. No one is caring for them. Shout as long and far and high. It is time to save our home. Let us hold our hands in hands. We are late to save our home. Drugs and famine got devouring the land. Turning it as a desert. Birds and animals are grieving aloud, stating the depth of their pain. Skin wraps the returns of newborn babies, hopeless and sunk in their eyes. Chewing dry nipples of their hungry mothers, cursing the birth on this land. Let's give up our greed and pride. No one can succeed alone. Let all nations think alone. Let's unite to save our home. Fight aircraft roaming the skyline, showering missiles on this earth. CFCs and other greenhouse gases. Tearing the awesome layer. Carbonization due to fossil fuels, dust and fog everywhere. Putting our air in ventilator, making it stand sunnier. Let us plant more trees around. Let the air be cool and fresh. Let us plan and work it out to make this earth a better place. Our earth is drawn by climate changes, greenhouse effects in stages. Our earth is gasping due to the air, pollution spreads everywhere. Fury of cyclones follows the sea coast. Landslides and floods everywhere. Homeless and orphans are crying for help. 
the land is caring for them. Shout a slogan far and high. Let it sign to save our home. Let us hold our hands in hands. We are late to save our home. Thank you, dear contestants for your mesmerizing performance. One who radiates the light of knowledge, dispelling the darkness of ignorance is a source of endless benediction for the world. Laura to see, goal seven emphasizes on the community involvement and participatory action. Here we have the students of grade 11 and 12 for the item interviewing a personality who is an environmentalist or philanthropist. They will emphasize on the ideologies followed by the personalities for the betterment of the society. This also should enable the students to learn how to build a community or be a part of advocacy. Now I call upon chess numbers 500 and 501. I repeat, just numbers 500 and 501. Dear judges, please note. A very pleasant morning to all of you. Today we have gathered here and for a very special day as we are being accompanied by a man of many honors, a successful business entrepreneur, engineer, and a very well-known philanthropist, he carried the Wipro Foundation on his shoulders from the age of 21. And since then, there has been no turning back. Today, Wipro is the most sought after software giant with an estimated revenue of $8.47 billion just because of this man right here, who is none other than Mr. Azim Premji, Founder and ex chairperson of Wipro Limited. A very hearty welcome to you, dear yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We do are obliged to have your presence. Without further delay, let's quickly get the session started. So, first of all, who is the main motivation or the driving force that inspired you to choose this part of philanthropy? My mother. She was a doctor who never practiced medicine. She founded the Children's Orthopedic Hospital in Mumbai for poor polio children. She also worked as a chairperson of the hospital from the age of 27 to 76. That's when her age started to give up on her. And as the famous saying goes, behind the success of every man, there is a woman. And in your case, it is pleasing to hear that there has been your loving one. Off to the next question. What is your opinion on the rate of development in India? Do you think there is a problem with the current development status? Yes, there is a massive problem with the current rate of development. I think it would be better if I explain it to you with an example. Let's take India and the US as an example. Today, the US is a developed country, while India is still a developing country. Now, let's take after 20 years, with the current rate of development, India may reach the level of today's America. But by that time, the US would be a way more developed country. And that is the problem. I think with the current rate of development, we will not be able to reach the level of other countries. Very true. So then what is the best measure we can adopt to overcome this issue? I think the best measure would be primary education of children. And why do you think so? Today's children are tomorrow's future. Now think what would happen if these children are not educated properly. It would be a mess. It would affect our country's future. I believe if they are not educated, they will seek to better their lives. But if they are educated, they will seek to better others' lives. Very true, sir. An educated generation of today truly defines the citizenship of tomorrow. Now, may I ask you, what are the top three interests of the Azim Premji Foundation? The Azim Premji Foundation was officially registered in 2001. We began by implementing various programs to improve the quality of education in the country. Primarily, it is to facilitate a just, equitable, and humane society. We also work with adolescent girls who drop out of school 
and got married off before the age of 18. The body conducts counseling and peer interaction for the girls and imparts life skills and knowledge about their individual rights. We also work with poor and homeless people and small and marginal farmers. Good to know, sir. Your foundation has gained worldwide attention for having contributed huge amounts for great causes. Uh, that reminds me, do you have any regrets being a philanthropist? I started philanthropy about 20 years ago. And till now, there is only one regret I have. It is, I think I started too late. I believe I should have started sooner. With that, you clearly own our respect for your humble nature. Sir, why do you donate such a huge part of your fortune to charity? I believe when you have so much money, you should give it away, especially when you are a part of a developing country with so much poverty. I think as a fellow citizen, it is the right thing to do. That proves that people who are kind and generous still exist in the face of the earth. Mr. Bramsey, what is your philosophy on philanthropy? First, there should be a focus on where contribution can be made. Second, it should be a cause that is relevant enough for the need of the country. And third, it should have access beyond the primary education of children. We concluded that if we have educated children in the country, we will have better citizens in the country. Yes, sir. As you emphasized, it is essential to work in those areas that require betterment so as to build a strong foundation for a developed country. Sir, what is your definition for success? Success. Success lies mainly in three ordinary things. Hard work, perseverance, and honesty. There were people who advised me to take up a more comfortable job rather than running a hydrogenated oil business. Looking back, I am glad I decided to run the oil business. Leadership comes from within. If you believe in your inner voice, you believe in yourself. Success is achieved twice, once in the mind and second in the real world. From being your own boss to building a business, it all comes down to one thing, setting higher goals and believing that these goals can be achieved. A very well found definition indeed. Speaking of goals, today the number of people who withdraw themselves from their most pursued ambitions is increasing. Just because of the fear of failure, or how the world will judge them once they fail. What is your say on this subject? We should allow for creative failure to happen. When it comes to generating ideas, it is inevitable. Failing is the best method to move forward. I say fail as fast as you can, as it will help you in the future. That truly really the essence of your success. Now, uh, may I ask you, this is a little off the topic question, but there are gossips that your philanthropy is just for popularity. What, what is your say in this? Well, I believe gossip spread faster than Wi-Fi. Well, moving on to the question, I do philanthropy for the betterment of my country. And to those people who spread these rumors, there is nothing I have to say to them, but I am happy with what I do. That's wonderful, because after all, it comes down to what you think of yourself, rather than relying on others' judgments. For the final question, what is the best advice you have for India's young generation? First of all, along with knowing your weaknesses, it is important that you recognize your strengths. I have always told young entrepreneurs who always remain down to work, as when they allow success to enter into their heads, they have already created their path to failure. Also, it is always important to be far-sighted uh, even when things are going good, because it doesn't take much time for things to take a turn. To all the people who have given up due to some reason or the other, this is the best advice you can get from India's most inspirational corporate leader. Asking out of my curiosity, are these the only things that matter in the journey towards being successful? Absolutely not. There are other factors like luck, which I have fortunately had for my entire life, and moral values, which have to be inculcated from childhood itself. Moreover, 
have faith in your ideas even when others say what you see is impossible and eventually success will follow you that is a real good piece of advice for today's generation with this we come to the end of today's session and as to conclude i must say that today we are connected to the outer world thanks to modern technologies like the internet but from within our hearts we have never been much more disconnected working together as a community enjoying that feeling of togetherness seems to have been lost like an eternity ago this is where by contributing your valuable time and wealth you have proven that in a society where freely given is common there is a stronger unity and sense of belonging in this world where people just care about themselves and nothing else you are a true exception and i'm sure that all of us have been inspired by your words i consider it my greatest honor and pleasure to have you with us today and i hope that you will continue to inspire young minds with your true story of triumph thank you sir thank you so much for joining us thank you for coming i also thank all the viewers for your kind support and for witnessing today's interview thank you thank you contestants for a lovely performance next we have chess numbers 502 and 503 i repeat chess numbers 502 and 503 good morning today we welcome dr vandana shiva she is being called the gandhi of brain the rock star of the anti tmo movement she is known as eco warrior goddess she is well known scientist for more than 40 years she was an environmental activist food rights advocate in india thank you you were a world famous scientist you are a nuclear physics and environmental activist how did this seemingly different field became your life work today my chosen life is very much different from the one i'm living i like the quiet life lack of my I think was joined from the Energy Commission. I was very much inspired by Einstein and the concept of social responsibility in science. Thus, I got involved in Chipko movement. Wow! How did the Chipko movement influence your work today as an activist? The Chipko movement is a worldwide response of women against large-scale deforestation of Himalayan trees. They climb to the trees to protect them. Growing up as a daughter of a forest officer, I always thought that forest is beauty, forest is peace. But working with the Chipko, I realized that forest is life, livelihood, and knowledge. Nice. You have spent many years advocating on behalf of local people. You were aware of the traditional practices and nature healing. Why do you think that these things are very important today? Protecting the earth and indigenous culture is most important today than ever. The indigenous people still live in harmony with nature, protecting the earth and respecting her needs. They are the teachers of survival in the period of extinction. Yes, your dedication and service to the earth to local communities started many years ago. What motivated you to carry up? Yes, it taught me about self-organizing. Women would gather daily and put a fistful of grain into a common basket. That was the food they used to eat as they were protesting in the forest. The most commendable thing was if one mother is protesting, others would take care of her. 
children, cows, and buffalo. Yes, they are ordinary people with extraordinary power. How would you respect them? They taught me the value of self-help and solidarity. How, I remember once when the forest in Halwani, Uttarakhand, was going to be locked for temple, they hired some local authorities over there. The village headman was given the contract for locking. Yet, his wife, Bachni Devi, led the protest to protect the forest. Yes, you protect our ecology and biodiversity. What would you say? We can create agendas for common good, upholding diversity. Yet, scientists took a half century to catch up with these illiterate women. But you said that they were shaping the future of India because they were that gave the Minister of Environment and Forest. The forest for us, not for destruction. Do you think that these things are very important to him? Yes, it can't be human. That is not an arrogance that comes along with time. I was a part of that arrogance when I was working with nuclear reactors. Everyone has knowledge, and that the role of science is merely to discover that knowledge. So I decided to dedicate myself to this work and started the research foundation for science, technology, and ecology in my mother's vacant township. Wow, we have taken on a global challenge in the fight for biodiversity. Let me describe Baikawa and Tanya. And yes. not more men. But this Tanya comes only from the mind, but this not from the individual energy. To keep fighting. The young are scared of constantly climate change. Secondly, an outdated idea that we must destroy the planet to grow and later we can save. Thirdly, the economic closure. With it, you made it, 99% of humanity will be useless, and the humans will be replaced by artificial intelligence and robotics. There is still to be found the protest in India. How they fit into global talks about workers today? For me, the farmers' movement is very significant. They repeatedly say that farmers is most dignified work. What they are fighting for is not only the future of agriculture, but ultimately the future of work. What are the challenges? Very true. What are the challenges that you face as environmentalist? Today, what we have left is only the mining of our own thoughts and behavior for data. Yes, what would you like to be remembered by the future generations? What legacy would you like to leave with us? I would like to be remembered as someone who never gave my truth and left by my generation. I would also like to be remembered for my courage. Courage not as an individual, but as a compassionate courage and solidarity with others. Very often, my only description is as an activist. But for me, the most important thing is my mind. And I would love to be known as a mother. Yes, Dr. Shiva is a strong believer that food we eat matters. It makes who are physically, spiritually, and culturally. We have strongly decided that, the, that food we eat matters. How does it help? to enhance the whole biodiversity and preserve local cultures. We are all interconnected in this creation with other life forms. We are not superior to any other life form. It involves care for land and soil. It in includes our organic farming, avoiding chemicals and poisons. In my non-profit movement, Navdanya, I taught myself about seeds and seed saving. Back then, I never thought that we would have 120 community seed packs. I said, all we take is just one seat, and I proceeded. Awesome. What inspired your interest in food and ecology? I became a volunteer in Chilpo, so I learned the value of biodiversity. So I started to cultivate biodiversity of mine and regenerate biodiversity of our farms. Right. Women have the potential to regenerate the earth. 
It's biodiversity of a head and nutrition. You have had a grassroots organization across Asia, Africa, Latin America, and Europe. You have spoken at many international meetings throughout the world. What have you observed from them? We have been divided by gender, class, religion, etc. Across the world, especially in the times of this pandemic, there is a growing consciousness of an unjust and industrially globalized food system. The only solution for this is chemical-free, poison-free food system. It increases nourishment for all beings. Very true. What is your relationship with your work? I mm -hmm. see my work as self-discovery, as fulfillment, and as a meaning. True. What is your advice to the end of people? They want to take a similar approach to work and activism. What I share is self-discovery and the realization that work is constant evolution of potentials. We all have limitless potential and it flowers best when you follow your dreams, when you follow what inspires you. The beauty is there is so much that is needed to be done in this world. There is no work better than the other. Work means working with your potential, your body, your soul and with other life forms who are starving to create a better world. Karan, mm -hmm. what gives you hope that our world can change for the better? Hope is not a thing outside us. We have to cultivate hope every day. I cultivate hope in each and every thought and action. Therefore, hope is a process of living. Very true. Dr. Siva, you are a world-famous scientist. You have inspired us with your valuable contribution to the nation and humanity. All are motivated from your rich experiences that you shared with us. Thank you. Thank you very much for inviting me and giving me this golden opportunity to put myself before you. Thank you. Thank you, dear contestants. That was indeed a mind-blowing performance. Thank you, respected judges, for judging this event. We have come to the end of this three-day event, which spanned three weeks. We had varieties of activities from LKG to class 12. We hope this has helped the students in very many ways. There is a beautiful saying by David McNally. Your past cannot be changed, but you can change your tomorrow by your actions. We are grateful to God for all the blessings received throughout this online meet. We give thanks for the warmth experienced from our Mary Ward family across Bangalore region and the globe as we were connected and networked together. An African proverb, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. Makes a lot of sense here. We desire to go together and therefore we shall educate, encourage and animate all the students of our schools as citizens who have a duty and responsibility in making our common home more humane. Thank you, dear distinguished guests, honorable panel of judges, participants, parents, teachers and well-wishers for your cooperation and enthusiastic participation in all the events. We really cherish your zestful participation. A very special thanks to the panel of judges. We are grateful to each one of you for volunteering and dedicating your time, your expertise and enthusiasm to be a judge at this Friends of Mary Ward online meet 2021. We cordially invite all of you to join the closing ceremony at 11 a.m. Have an enjoyable time. Thank you one and all. Thank you.